Howdy Skullbells TV, here's two advanced variations of plate-loaded front pulldowns. If you're serious about your back game, you know that the back is a very large and very complicated muscle group that requires some strategy to make it thick and wide like you want it. We'll be focusing primarily on back width, but the way that I do it hits the targeted muscles more horizontally than when you do chin-ups and pull-downs. We'll get more into that. So in terms of square footage, the latissimus dorsi is the body's largest muscle. Its fibers originate along the vertebrae of the lower half of the spine on the hips and on the lowest ribs, and then they twist together and then attach to your humerus to form the back of your armpit. Everything this muscle does is assisted by the teres major, a muscle that we kind of forget about. And what it is is a small strip of muscle that originates on that originates on the scapula and attaches to the upper arm just above the latissimus. So for bodybuilding, it's actually the widest part of your back that sticks out when you do your front and back lat spreads. And then for your back double bicep pose, it shows the thickness and the definition of this muscle that's really easy to forget about. So these two advanced variations will directly target this muscle further than standard form. But first, let's go over how to do this exercise properly. That is the basic way. So for gear, uh, definitely use wrist straps on this move. It's the only thing that you're going to need. And trust me, you'll get an extra one to two reps at least. This is an isolation exercise. So we're not focusing on biceps. We're not focusing on forearms. So having straps will help to disengage your forearm flexors and biceps so that you can focus more on your back. To put them on, it's really easy. Just make sure that they twist in the opposite direction of your fingers. So we're using a supinated grip, meaning a palms up grip. So you want to wrap them over around the top. Uh, so to tighten them, simply act like you're revving up a motorcycle. For weight selection, pick a weight that you could really do for like 12 reps if you had to, but use that same weight and only do 8 reps, but challenge yourself by making those reps nice and slow, especially on the eccentric portion. Your back is mostly fast twitch fibers, this is why we're doing this this way, um, so they respond best to pulling heavy weight. Pull the weight down as hard as you want. That activates the fast twitch fibers, but make sure to go slow on the way up and that'll hit everything else. It's a big muscle group, so that's why we want the eccentric part of the lift to be slow enough to allow for adequate time under tension so you can get good blood flow and get a good pump. So for form, ever since training on this exact machine, actually with Robert Sykes, when he stopped by our place on his way through town to earn his WNBF Pro Card in Seattle. Uh, I've been training unilaterally with it because when we trained together, he showed me in person how much deeper of a range of motion you can get than by training with both arms together. And it's so true. I'll never forget that. Try it yourself and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. This makes getting your mind inside the muscles so much easier. Think of pulling back with your elbow and really concentrate on the muscles being worked. Your first eight reps should be primarily focused on pump and blood flow. You, so you don't need to lock out all the way up at the top with every single rep. Variation one is gonna be kneeling on the floor. What this does is it shifts the emphasis more to your teres major, that upper muscle that we are talking about, and it changes the angle closer to horizontal. Um, I thrust my pelvis up against the seat, okay? And then variation two is facing to the side. This feels like a behind the neck lat pull down. It shifts the emphasis more to your lats now. Um, and, it's, and this is also a very fun variation. <laughs> uh, sometimes I do it this way just because I like to. I mean, all things being equal, uh, do exercises that you enjoy, right? This one is a lot of fun. So your butt, you want to sit back far enough so that your butt just hangs off the side of the seat. And this will give you extra mobility to be able to pull down better. Uh, you're going to crunch down into the weight. This is really important. So use a little bit of your body weight. That's okay. Uh, your serratus and your abs are gonna and your obliques are, are, are gonna assist with this a little bit as well. You want to lean down into the direction of the weight. Sometimes I like to touch my working lat with my non-working fingers to make sure that I'm feeling the muscles being worked. 
All right, and then that brings us to partial reps. So depending on your training program, you might be doing three or four sets of this exercise or maybe even just one set. This is more my style. Uh, if you're on one of our cutting workout plans, this is probably what you're doing. You're probably doing high intensity, low volume training. So uh, this means that you're gonna be doing one set to failure and then pushing past failure after you can't do any more clean reps. After your eight full reps without letting go, let the weight go all the way back up and stretch as far as you possibly can. And when you think that you've stretched all the way out, exhale again and stretch a little bit further. You'll surprise yourself. You can probably stretch another couple more inches. Uh, from here, you're going to pull for five partial reps with the goal being to bring your elbow lower than your shoulder blade. After you've worked for five more partial reps, pause and hold it at the top for five or 10 seconds. If you train with this kind of intensity, you won't be able to do another set, which is a good thing because trust me, you will not want to. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching y'all. Hope that you learned something. Friendly reminder, you gotta be tracking your progress, okay? If you are bulking, your weight should be going up every time. And then if you're cutting, your weight should be staying the same uh, comparatively speaking from your last workout so you can make sure that you're burning fat and not muscle. Our custom-made bodybuilding logbooks have a motivational quote at the bottom of every single page. If you work out at the same gym that I do, you can actually just buy them from the front desk. Otherwise, you can pick one up for $13.50 on our website, supersetyourlife.com. Now go smash them back and we'll catch you right here next week with another workout video.